Breaking news at 5 o'clock, an arrest in a cold case from 1972. The Johnston County Sheriff announcing, say they say a man living in Florida is charged in connection with the murder and kidnapping of Bonnie Neighbors. CBS 17's Amy Cutler was at the announcement. Amy, the sheriff says the case had stayed with him. Yeah, it certainly had, Marius. The sheriff says neighbor's husband came to him back in 2007 and urged him to reopen the case, saying he was optimistic this time would be different. The sheriff says that stayed with him. Now, Sheriff Steve Bizzle making the announcement after informing Bonnie Neighbors, two sons and her sister. Her husband died a few years back. Investigators say Bonnie was headed to pick up her seven-year-old son from school back in December 1972. Her four-month-old son was with her. Her body found in a migrant worker housing unit after an extensive search. She was bound and had been shot. Her baby found on her chest. Now 46 years later, 65-year-old Larry Scott, who now lives in Florida, will be charged with kidnapping and murder. The sheriff telling me Scott's DNA went into the system after an arrest last year. That when DNA from the crime scene was retested, there was a match. So what was the motive? Was Scott known to neighbors? I asked the sheriff. To our knowledge at this uh, time, there was not a connection. Uh, he lived in uh, Benson and he frequented, frequented the labor uh, camps camps back in uh, 1972. But as, as we are aware, there is not a connection with the family. There's not a connection between Scott and the Bonnie neighbors uh, family at, at all. Now, the sheriff calling this an active, ongoing investigation. No word yet on when Scott will be extradited back to North Carolina to face these charges. Live in Smithfield, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.